my shoulder's a bit whack today. It's like been fucking ripped off. It's no good. Alright. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm just going to keep it on my screen for a little bit. I'm going to paste some stuff around and, yeah, do some stuff. Then we'll get into some music. Oh, me. Minimize that. We've got volume happening. Good there. Yes, that's how I spell magic. I know you can't see what I'm writing, so that's fine. Uh, all right. Let's get rid of that for a second. Let's get rid of this for a second. Uh, and that, that's fine. We don't need that. All right, let's get rid of the image. And there we are. All right. So, this tune is called Waves. So far, that's a working title. Just had some ideas running around my head um, of what I'm gonna get that off my desk. Of what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have two different. Um, Snare dynamics. So, uh, if you've watched one of these live streams before, you'll see that I always use um, basically it's like what, a layer of four different snares to make one. Now, for the moment, the groove is going to be like this. It's a nice, short, snappy. Um, tail. Uh, you can see the difference between the the gating that I'm doing here and these two. Let's put that over the top so you can see the difference. So the top one's a longer gate, this one's a shorter gate. I'll show you the difference now. That's the difference. So as the track progresses, I'll bring that longer snare in. Um, I 
This is just one layer of the base that I think I'm going to run with. So you can hear it's delayed and it has reverb. Um, it's pretty clean. Running with the drums. Let me show you a bit of goniometer work here. I'll show you with that um, more beefier snare. But for the meantime, so I'll have everything, I'll do like a little intro, and then maybe this will be the drop. And then work it, work it, um, do some some little different bits here. You can see there's a click base. So this is just another layer on the top of the base. Uh, it's a different patch that I made. I'll make all my own patches in Spire. But then, uh, so this is... This little click bass is like... It's just, it's a bass, but all the bass is taken away. Adds a nice texture to it. So then what I've done here is... Um, So I've made two layers of the ARPs. You can see this one here with my reverb, the way the Bit Crusher uh, crunches down on the top of the reverb, creates a nice, um, create, creates a nice, uh, is that cut myself there? Uh, creates a nice um, comb over the top, really brings it out. Before I keep going on, let's pull a little EQ down here. All right, medium size should do. So that way you can see what I'm actually, what's actually coming out through the ears. As you can see here, in the top range. Um, if I didn't have these sends that go through there, you would not have. as much feel. And then what I've done to sort of push that sound out and give it a bit more uh, feel underneath. It's just to use the same sound, modify the patch slightly and then push it into a different field. Use a little bit of reverb within the plugin to do that. So now what I've done here is I've um, wrote a bit of a melody that I'm possibly going to turn into something that's like um, much, much more synthesized. So this is my electric piano. If you, um, you take a look at the audio spectrum here, so as I hit a note, you can see there's a top range coming through. And that's the bit crushing that I've put through on some sends. And I haven't put it through from, I think it's about 3,000 or 4,000 that I used. So see this here, this bit crusher, it's down sampled by seven. And then I've cut everything out up to 3,000. So you can see the bit crushing pump through, but then when I let go of the keys, so when there's no MIDI note values, no nothing, you can see that it disappears, but the resonance from the reverb keeps it in there. And the reverb is actually um, sidechain compressed. 
with a bit crushed on the top. So you'll see that disappear and all the energy stays in the mid range. Really nice way to make your reverb clear, crystal clear. So the melody work, um, it's gonna sound like this. I'm just using um, a bit of pitch bend there. I think I'm going to write a little bit of pitch bend audio automation in there. Um, possibly go through here and uh, edit out the bass. Do some so when it drops, it might like these will come in later, but. So notice the luff meter didn't really change there. Um, that is because of the way that I have the bass and the drums. So the bass is, uh, let's go through here, let's go through this first patch here. This bass patch, a way to make it more in your face. Yeah, yeah, mad as fuck. Um, I think that I just, yeah. How long have you been there for? Um, so yeah, when I do a bass patch, uh, you get the sound how I want it. And then if I'm going to do any filtering, I put that before a compressor. And I usually tweak the compressor by ear. If you notice, it's only slightly turned up and it's pretty sure this is only just hitting yeah so it's nice and just leveled let's open that right up and then it's limited so that way when I filter My love meter doesn't change. I get it to where I want and I keep it there. That's the game. That's the aim of the game. Alright, so let's move forward. Let's go and let's add some uh, percussion in here so we can fix up, give this a bit of swing. Um, Let's go for like, let's go for some symbols. I like to use drummer. I'm not much of a, not much of a sample pack kind of guy. Let's trim that down. This will just be a double over loop. So this, I'm going to put it straight into the drum bus. Let's take that away. Zoom this down. Okay, so this is the instrument or the live drummer. Um, these are just presets. So if we zoom in, this will change live. So this this bit of automation here, the reason it's yellow is because it's live, it'll change. If I move this down to soft complex, you notice the audio file changes. You <laughs> man, you man, you man, get wrecked. Uh, I don't even have my browser open. Hang on, bro. What are you? What are you? Sounds like something's going on. Hang on. 
Let me uh, let me turn this off. Put that on there. Alright, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hit and run. Always hitting and running. Why is it jack in? Damn it. I'm here and there. Rad mixes. You've been listening to my stuff. Uh, don't want that there. Let's see how this is. Uh, so I don't want it that hard. Okay, so you can I can sort of hear what I want to pop out, which is um let's hone in on that frequency. So I want that splash. It's illegal. <laughs> no, everything's for free, man. Everything. It's like a flash sale. I think I might have a live set tomorrow. Not one, you know what I mean. Um, I, I do a mix or something. It's like 2.03 a.m. Saturday morning for me. I'm having some peppermint something tea. So that's kind of making me a bit chill. It's chilling me out. Uh, so this splash. Um, name regions by track. Um, I'm going to go ahead, take the drum bus off. So put it to no send. Uh, so I basically set that how I want it, but I can go through and I can put it through four different uh, types of sort of, I guess you could call it presets. So these slider bars, you can change it to like, because it's symbols. So I can change it here. So I want that. So I'm going to swing that around my snare. But I'm just going to use, so this is a mono, this is the mono piece of the snare. So that's the sample come, coming straight out of Spark 2. And that's just, um, that's two layered, that's a 707 snare and a Lindrum snare. I'm not sure which one, I think there's two that comes with that. That's where I want it. All right, let's go back here. I only wanted to swing just a little bit. So now I'm going to put this into where I want it. So this is going to be, I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to put this to mono. And now because I want my snare to sit dead center, I'm going to Oh, 
I did something with um, uh, Demi Kate as well. Fuck, I was meant to follow that person, wasn't I? I don't know if I did or not. Institute 91. Hang on a second. Let me follow him on Twitter. No results. Facebook? Maybe I spelt it wrong. Let's get it from there. No, that way. Just copy all that. Paste. Nope. Okay, where is he? Sometimes five is not point. He is underrated. Has a good vibe down here. He does make a good vibe. Yeah, five is definitely important. Hmm. Is he on Facebook? Yes. Okay. No, Twitter. Okay. Okay. I search for him. Let's go this way. Cold vagina is ah. Oh, I like that. Okay. Yes, please. Twitter. I found him. All right, I'll follow, and when he follows me, I'll send him a message. We'll see what happens. All right, so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to overlay something over the top, uh, but I need to put it in into... Um, Either I'm going to keep it, if it's in mono, I'm either going to, do I want to be facing the drum kit or do I want to be the drum kit? That's the, that's the hardest, hardest part basically. But I think, I think we'll go hard left. So now we're going to duplicate that channel. I'm going to sit it all the way to the right. I'm just going to grab these, pull these down here. So this is going to be, undo that, uh, this is going to be some hats, it fucking does the right thing, hats, right, so let's switch over to hats, Not sure if I want to have it drag because right now it's dragging a little bit. The beat is uh, because I put 2% swing on it, it feels like it's dragging more than usual. So now that's only just slightly delayed. So we'll keep it like that. Now this is not sitting right.
So double that. 659. Can we just go like this? 13. Perfect. Let's turn that off. So what I did there was found where I wanted it to uh, roll off from the low. Uh, you can do that by using um, Pro Q. So if you hit this, this tiny little MIDI board right here, it'll bring up. You see, I can roll across. And I can go through uh, every single octave, and if I stay, if I stay on like one note here, which is up here, if I just keep it there, it will tell me that it's negative forty-nine cents away from being at true C sharp. So I can uh, I can lock things directly directly on um, particular frequencies, which is good, especially if you want to stay um, working in that key and be like very mathematically, um, be very mathematically uh, constructive with things, I suppose. So that'll keep that way way over to the right side so now what i want to do is i want to sort of balance it you can hear the difference it doesn't really feel balanced even though they're both mono and they're both sitting directly uh, directly to their sides one is louder than the other So here's something to blow your mind. Uh, the way I make things very, very in your face with drums. I've got all my instruments the way I want them. So I've got the snare, the kick, and the hats and the cymbals everywhere I want them. I can feel the pressure in my uh, um, what I'm trying to visualize with like my goniometer here um, versus what's in my ears. Now what I'm going to do, these are in mono, I'm going to duplicate them. So this one is going to be stereo. We're just going to grab this, copy it. Now we're going to put that directly in the center. We're going to turn the gain off. And we're going to maybe take, let's say, Five decibels off. Well, technically, it's about six decibels. So let's do the same for this. So ten point six. Let's take that down to about sixteen. Duplicate that. Now this is. Oh shit. There you go. <laughs> That's because I was on wrecked. Okay, so the different, uh, let's name this. So the difference is I'm very particular with naming things. All right, so these two are mono. So this is left mono. This is right and left. Okay, so the symbols in stereo, and you can hear the, you can hear as if there's um, there's a two mic setup. You put the second on. Uh, so that's both mono, which is hitting hard left, and then stereo, and you you take some of the the volume away because it's already sitting in a nice drum bass.
you get more of a pressure come over to the right so you get it as if it's more of a live kit Okay, so what I think I might do, let's change this. I think that suits it better. Yeah, that suits it better. All right, so Let's go for let's do a bit of flow for a second. There's more there. across I just want to balance my drum kit I try and balance it once and then I'm good all right I'm good let's roll that big snare in there So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to drag that across and whatever's in my left, uh, sorry, right channel here, I'm going to change it. This swing should be off. And it might work. There we go.
So the next thing I want to do, um, this little What in the world? Should say there. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So the next thing um, I want to do is make a new preset. For this because this is going to turn into a big synth I think so um, and I'm going to get really really expressive with it I think so let's initialize let's go saw let's base to up I think my four-year-old's crying. All right, let's cut that off. No, wait. Let's just cut that. We'll keep that going. Um, Mr. Bosto, if you're still there, I'm gonna have to have an intermission. My four-year-old has decided to wake up in the middle of the night, so I'm gonna have to be a dad. Um, but yeah. This tune, um, I'm gonna make. I'm feeling like it's gonna be like a elongated, in the sense of time, would be like an elongated, maybe six minute, seven minute type of Daft Punk kind of feel. I want to go for in terms of like letting things have their moments. Um, I really need a vocoder, but yeah. Anyway, we'll get there. Um, uh, yeah. All right. I will be back. <laughs> 